Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the ninth edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will show you how to use the Automix AI function in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So Automix AI is DJ Pro 2's updated answer to their original Automix introduced in the first version of the software with all sorts of new features. The purpose of Automix in any DJ software is to let the computer make the transitions from track to track instead of the DJ. So first, to get to the Automix playlist, you go down all the way to the bottom in the middle, right here, and then click Automix, and then you're there. And then to view Automix in single deck mode, uh, DJ Pro 2 has a new uh, complete single deck mode that is dedicated to Automix. You go up here and click on your single deck, and then right now I'm in just regular single deck mode, so if I want to go to um, the Automix mode, I'll just click right here and then click Automix. So right now I want to go over the uh, different transition types, transition duration, and tempo adjustments that you can make in the Automix. And in this window you can do that by um, going under where it says Mix and clicking Open. And then you can edit all sorts of preferences here. So I'm just going to go down quickly um, and explain what all of the transitions do explain a little bit about um, the durations you can pick and the uh, different types of tempo adjust you can do. So as we see here, we can either pick automatic where uh, DJ Pro 2 automatically picks what transition um, type you do. The fade just fades one track in to the other track. Uh, if your EQ is on, it uses the EQ knobs uh, to make a smooth transition. The filter uses the filter knobs to make a smooth transition. Um, you can echo out of one song and instantly play another song. You can use the break effect, which is the uh, slow down effect, kind of like if you're shutting off vinyl, and the reverse effect, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to show uh, an example of all of these effects used um, for the Automix transitions in, later in the video. Next we have our duration. So you can manually select your duration or have automatic. Automatic, you don't have any control. Um, and manually, you can control either how many bars there are, so how many measures there are, or you can pick how many seconds there are. And the maximum is 32 seconds, and I believe it's 32 bars. Yep, it is 32 bars as well. So um, I'll go over some examples, too, of doing a shorter transition and a longer transition and an automatic transition. And then tempo adjust. So you can turn tempo adjust off, which means that Automix will not take uh, the tempo into consideration when it's mixing the two tracks. Um, you can turn it on to sync, which means that if the tracks are close enough in BPM um, that it'll just play at the same tempo. So whatever tempo your first track at that BPM is, the, your next track will just match to that. And then you can do Morph, which Morph is pretty cool because it basically not only transitions the tracks into each other, but it does it by uh, transitioning the BPMs as well. So whatever the incoming track is, it'll start at the track that's already playing, and then as the track is transitioning, it will go back down or up um, to its regular BPM. Um, and then right here, uh, this just turns the auto mix on and off, which is also the same as this button right here. This right here is the play pause button. It is just like the normal play pause button. Um, this works if auto mix is on or off. These lines underneath the waveform uh, at the beginning and the end, these are the sections where uh, auto mix will automatically transition your tracks in or out um, if you have the automatic setting on. If you click this button right here, um, the mix will start to transition in from the playing track to the next track that is loaded up in the queue. So you can do that by hitting this button right here. To change the track that is uh, ready to be mixed into, let's say you don't like the track that you see or you don't think it'll make be a good mix, um, you can click this button here and this will change the up next uh, track. So it gives you some flexibility if the track that is about to be played is not one that you would like to be played at that moment. 
So like I just mentioned, to start the Automix, you click this button. And right now it's telling me that it can't start it because there are no s songs in the source, which I'm going to go over in just a moment. So the source is right here. Uh, right now I have it on manual. The source is manual. So what that means is that I can just drag and drop any songs into the Automix and it'll mix in. You can also pick match, which will match whatever song that you put in there and play songs that um, that they think will mix in well. Or you can do songs from the current playlist. So right now my, I'm in my songs playlist and I just have my Timmy G songs in here. And now these songs have showed up in the Automix. So like I just mentioned, now that we have songs uh, queued up, I can hit this button and it will start the Automix. I'm going to stop it for now. So if you want a little bit more control from the Automix, you can go to the Preferences, which you can either get to by clicking here or by going to DJ Pro, Preferences, and then the Automix button. So the mix settings are the same as what we just talked about, um, same as this mix settings right here. So you can pick your same options, your, your duration, the type of tempo adjust. But now you have um, song range where you can pick uh, where the song starts and song ends. So if you have it on manual, then it will ignore those these lines um, where it is going to transition in and out. And you can pick how many seconds in or how many seconds... Um, before it ends that you want it to start and stop uh, or you can just pick automatic if you wanted to for both and you can make a combination of either of the two so this is the use start and end point of song if available uh, this toggles whether mixes will include both the start and end of the track uh, here you can pick a maximum song play duration so if you only want to hear a song for a specific period of time whether you're playing a game or you're needing a song to end at a specific time in that song, you can do that here. And last uh, but not least, you can turn shuffle on, which will shuffle the tracks that are in the Automix queue. So I'm going to get out of the preferences now. Uh, one thing to mention is these decks are just like regular DJ decks, so I can scratch if I want. Um, you can see that it says deck one here. If I go to the next track, which I'm going to do right now, you can see that this deck is deck two now. Um, and this actually means that you can do the auto mix in two deck mode, which I actually prefer to do. I like to see both decks. Um, and it, it's, I mean, it, it's all the same. This is just the graphic interface. But I, I like to see both decks, and you can actually see, like, for the EQ uh, transition, for instance, you can see the EQs moving. For the filter, you can see the filter moving. Um, you can see the tempos changing. Um, one other thing to mention is that these arrows next to the crossfader, these actually will um, transition to the next song. So if I hit this right here, as we're on, right now we're on the right deck, but if I hit this right here, it's Jimmy G. It'll start up to the next uh, deck, depending on what transition setting that I have. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So uh, all that's left is I'm just going to show uh, some examples of the different types of transitions. So the last two transitions that we've seen have been the uh, fade. And uh, so now I'll show you automatic. So I'll be playing uh, It's Timmy G. And I'll turn the Automix on. And here this message brings us back to that original uh, Automix view that we had. Look at that. Of that. Um, and I'm going to transition to the next track. And right here I had the automatic, so it changed the EQs, 
Um, it took two bars, which I had it set for. Set for. Um, and uh, it was the morph. So what it did is it matched. It, this is 140 BPM. It matched to 150 as it, as it was transitioning. And then it um, came back down to 140, its original BPM, as it was going. Next, we'll do uh, the EQ. So I'll be playing uh, Joe the Bro right now. Now go back. And it used the EQs to transition to the next track. Um, now I'm going to extend this to four bars, and I'll do the filter setting. And watch these two filters as the track is transitioning. So you could see that these knobs were moving as the track was transitioning. Next we have echo, and a tip for echo is the echo transition is very quick. So if you're going to do a manual duration, um, I would recommend a very short time, like no more than one or two bars. Uh, I'm actually going to do automatic because automatic will automatically do a short transition for echo. It's a cool um, transition, but if you have like a 16 bar transition time, it'll, you'll have basically silence for the majority of that. So here's what it sounds like. Whoa. So you see right away it echoed out and then transitioned right to the next track. Next is the break effect. And I'm also going to leave this one on automatic. This is another one where um, it sounds better in my opinion if it's shorter but it will work if it uh if you have it set for a longer time but i'll just show it you like this and i'll actually show the break again with a very long i'll do an eight bar break and show you what that sounds like I would say that's a bit excessive of um, a transition, but if you like it, good for you. Last is the reverse. Uh, once again, I would suggest a shorter transition time for the reverse, but um, you can do a longer one. So I'll do I'll do one bar. I'll do two bars actually. One thing to notice is I've been on morph uh, the whole time, so I'm just going to show um, what sync is like. Right now I'm going to load a track that is 126 BPM, and you'll see what the sync um, tempo adjust selection does. And we see that the uh, BPM of this track is the same as this track. So yeah, that's about it with Automix. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music and DJ performances, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.